What is going on, everybody? I am Brandon, aka The Frustrated Gamer, and thank you for 500 subscribers. Now, many of you guys know, I've said it in a lot of my videos, my goal when I began this channel was to get to 1,000 subscribers. And guys, we're halfway there. So to thank you guys and to commemorate all of you for all the help you've given me, I am answering many of your requests. For the last few months, I've gotten many comments of people saying, hey, Brandon, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Or, hey, Brandon, do a draw my life. And here it is. The Frustrated Gamer 500 Subscriber Draw My Life. Now, I am awful at drawing, so bear with me. You can see the little colored confetti. That's about the extent of my drawing abilities. But it's, it's not going to be pretty. But I'm hoping the story I tell, along with the terrible stick figures I draw, will be entertaining and educational to you guys. And I really do hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to begin this Draw My Life just by saying this is going to be a pretty nice story. I've been a very lucky child growing up. I didn't have much hardship. My parents sheltered me and gave me an awesome life. So unlike many of the Draw My Lives that you guys will see, this isn't going to be a sad story about how I overcame tragedy or overcame adversity. It's really just going to be my story, my life of how I've gotten where I am today and how I got into YouTube. So I really do hope you enjoy it. So I was born in a small town northeast of Philadelphia called Doylestown, Pennsylvania. I was born on June 12th, 1992 in Doylestown Hospital. Many of you guys have heard me mention that I am Italian and my father was actually born in Italy, a very, very small town in the middle of the country named Monte Verde. And my mother was actually born in a very, very different place. Maybe some of you guys have heard of it. New York City in the United States of America. When my dad was young, about nine years old, he and his parents, along with his four other brothers and sisters, took a boat all the way to the United States of America and settled in New Jersey. Eventually, he and my mom met up. I think it was at a bar, they've said. And I thank my lucky stars to this day that they met. Because, I mean, the chances of a man growing up in a small town in the middle of Italy and a woman growing up in a large city like New York City meeting is just astronomical. And eventually they got together. Eventually they started dating. And there you can see baby TFG. I am an only child, and many people hate being an only child, but I never minded it. I got all the gifts, all the attention, and I loved every second of it. Believe it or not, I am so old that people didn't have personal computers in their own homes until I was probably about five or six. I remember me and my dad picking out our family's first ever personal computer at a store called Circuit City. I don't even think Circuit City still exists to this day. I absolutely loved that computer. My personal favorite games that I would play was Roller Coaster Tycoon, Backyard Baseball, and eventually Age of Mythology. I played those games for hours upon hours on our Dell PC. In addition to that computer, my outlook on video games completely changed on Christmas Day 1998. My parents, or Santa, surprised me with my first ever video game system, the Nintendo 64. The first game I ever played, I remember. I remember to this day. It was Mario Kart 64, and I still play that game to this day. I loved that N64 so much. That is my awful rendition of Santa Claus. In addition to the video games, I was also always a very active kid, and I basically played any sport that I could get my hands on. While I hated it at first, I eventually began focusing most of my attention on tennis, and I seemed to be pretty good at it. Around the age 5 or 6, I attended my first ever school. It was kindergarten at a school named New Hope Solberry, and it was a pretty small school. I had about 500 kids in the entire school. So 500 subs means a lot to me. I can say for once that I have more subscribers now than I had in my entire school growing up. I was always a pretty good student. I mean, not the best, not the worst. I don't think I was the smartest, but I always worked very hard. I mean, my parents always tell a funny story of how I never, never missed a homework assignment. It didn't matter how much work I had. It didn't matter how much time I had. I would never, ever miss a homework assignment. Growing up, I was always a very sociable kid, and I had basically no problem speaking in public. I even starred in the fourth grade play as 
Principal Greenfield, and something happened to change between middle school and high school. I don't really know what it was, maybe it was just me growing up and becoming more self-conscious, but believe it or not, I became terrified. I mean, I had a minor crisis about speaking in public, and I would sweat, I would get nervous, I would even get to the point that I was shaking, and it really made me nervous, and it really bothered me. Not that people really laughed at me, but in my head they were, in my head they were judging me. Many of you guys might be surprised to hear this, but my first ever YouTube videos were released in the spring of 2011. No, it wasn't the Frustrated Gamer channel. It was a tennis instructional channel named The Tennis Guy. I was one of the first channels of its kind, and believe it or not, even though the quality was awful and the content was horrible, it actually began to grow faster than I believed just because I was one of the few videos out there. Sadly, my self-conscious self got embarrassed and eventually I took it down when people started recognizing me. After 13 years at the same exact school district with less than 500 kids, in the spring of 2011, I graduated high school. I ended up going to college and attending the Pennsylvania State University, or Penn State as most people call it. I had always grown up in that same small school district, so arriving on campus freshman year to a school with over 40,000 students, it was quite intimidating. Luckily for me, my best buddy Steve, who many of you guys met in my Austin, Texas travel vlog, also came to Penn State too, and that helped settle my nerves a little bit. While I wasn't good enough to play varsity at Penn State University, it didn't take long until I joined the tennis club and met some of my best friends that I had in college. I was never a big partier in college, especially my first couple years, and while everyone else was out at the frats drinking and having a good time at parties, me and my friends Steve, Kenny, Tom, Ben, Kevin, and Bonesaw, yeah, I have a friend named Bonesaw, <laughs> we would play basketball and video games and basically anything else to pass the time on the weekends. Oh, and did I mention Bonesaw's pretty tall, a lot taller than the rest of us. One day my junior year, I was playing tennis at the tennis club and this new girl walked in. Her name was Sam and she said she was looking to play some tennis and was new to the place. She was gorgeous, but being the shy self that I was and being terrible around girls, I naturally ignored her for the next month or two. Little by little, we became better friends, but it wasn't for another year that I finally mustered up the courage to ask her out. For some reason, she actually said yes, and we ended up going out on a date to a place, I don't even want to call it a restaurant, it was called Qdoba, where we got burritos. Those are our yummy burritos that we had for dinner that one night. And I will say, if you guys have not met Sam in my video, she is not a redhead. I just did not have a yellow marker. She is actually blonde, and orange was the closest I could get. It's more than three years later from that day, and Sam and I are still dating. And many of you guys have probably seen her in some of my videos, like the one where I ate a hot pepper. In May of 2015, I graduated with my degree in accounting, and I was not happy to be leaving. I loved my time at Penn State and was not ready to move on. About a month later, I was lucky enough to get a job at a company named PVH, where my cousin Rocco actually worked. While I enjoyed the job and I always loved my coworkers, the next two years were some of the toughest years in my otherwise cushy life. I was balancing between my full-time job along with my master's degree, which I had recently began, and on top of all of this, my girlfriend Sam was still all the way out in Penn State, four hours away from me. Luckily for me, I found the right girl, and she sacrificed so much for me over those two years and probably missed out on a lot of opportunities with friends. She made time to meet up with me nearly every weekend. Fast forward to February 2018, just a couple months ago. Sam was finally home from college and pursuing her dreams of becoming a physician's assistant. That's supposed to be a syringe in her hand. And I was entering the busiest times of my life. Things were getting extremely busy at work to the point where I had to work 19 days in a row in addition to my schoolwork for my master's degree. I had finally gotten one day off, it was a Sunday, and I noticed my girlfriend Sam was watching a Marky Plyer video. I had watched him in the past once or twice, but I was never really consistent. Immediately, I was sucked in, and on February 8th, 2018, I began the Frustrated Gamer channel. My videos were horrible. Everything from the video and audio quality to my nervous and shy commentary were borderline unwatchable. 
but I became borderline addicted to the science of YouTube. I was never a big reader growing up, but all of a sudden I was reading and researching how to improve YouTube every second that I wasn't busy with work or school. While my channel received essentially no traffic, I was improving. I slowly became more comfortable on camera and bought a nicer microphone and webcam and a better laptop. While I'm still waiting for my quote unquote big break in YouTube, even to this day, I finally began gaining some traffic on a few videos on my channel. Games like Tube Tycoon, Papers Please, and my .io live streams were starting to get me a little bit of attention. After three months of hard work and a lot of research, I finally reached 100 subscribers, and I was thrilled. The month of July was amazing for the channel. I met so many of you guys that are still active on the channel today. Games like Tube Tycoon got me started, Five Nights at Freddy's Ultimate Custom Night really added to the table, and my Baldi's Basics mods really seemed to add growth to my channel. Currently, I am five weeks away from finishing that master's degree that I have worked so hard on, and I am desperate to be done. Between school, work, and YouTube, my social life and sleep has taken a giant hit. I honestly can't remember the last time I've hung out with my friends, and I also can't remember the last time I have gotten more than five or six hours of sleep in a night. But my hunger and my passion and my will to grow this channel have never been greater, and I am so excited and I am so fired up to see what awaits for the Frustrated Gamer channel in the future. I'll spare you guys of my dreadful drawings for the conclusion. I sincerely hope you guys really enjoyed my life story through drawing. This is not something I ever thought I'd do because I know I am known for being really bad at drawing. But you guys asked for it and I thought it was an awesome idea. A lot of you guys always want to know more about my life and I hope this answered some of your questions. Guys, I really, really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or anything that's unanswered from the video, mention them in the comments below and I can do my best to answer any questions you guys have. Thank you guys all once again for helping me get to this milestone halfway to my ultimate goal. And thank you so much for watching the video. Guys, I hope you all have a good one. And I will see all of you in the next video. Now, how do I get this marker off my hands?